Welcome. Let's talk about segments outside of a circle. We will take a look at the scenario when two second lines intersect with each other. Let's draw one second line. Let's call those intersections C and D. And now let's draw a second second line that intersects the first. Let's call the intersections A and B. And the point where both second lines intersect with each other, let's call it B. Now we can categorize different segment lines. The line segment AB and CD are inside the circle, so we can call those internal segments. And external segments are those line segments that are outside of the circle, which in this case is BP and DP. And when we have this scenario, this is a property that will always occur. Let's assign some names to those line segments. Line segment BP, let's call it S. Line segment DP, let's call it U. Line segment AP, let's call it R. And line segment CP, let's call it T. And there is a property between those line segments. If we get one external line, let's choose S. And if we multiply it by the whole second line, which we have called it R, that is going to be equivalent to the external line of the other secant, which is U, times the length of the second line that it belongs, which we are calling T. And this product rule will always be true. The multiplication of external line times its secant line it's equivalent to the multiplication of the other external line times the other secant line. And one thing to notice is that these two multiplications, they belong to the same secant line. And this segment also belongs to its own secant line. Now let's show why this is true. We have the same scenario as before. Two secant lines intersecting at a point. Let's introduce an auxiliary line that connects points C and B. And let's introduce a second auxiliary line that connects points A and D. When line segment AD was introduced as an inscribed angle, which is intersecting the arc BD. Angle C can also be C as an inscribed angle, which is also intersecting the arc BD. Because those two inscribed angles are intersecting the same arc, we can say that they're congruent. And we also have two triangles, triangle ADP and triangle CBP. Those two triangles, they share angle P. So we can say that angle P is congruent to itself by the reflective property. And now we have enough information to claim that those two triangles are similar to each other by the angle-angle similarity theorem. We have shown that we have two pairs of congruent angles. Now we can claim that the sides are in proportion. If we get the line segment R and we divide it by the line segment T, which are the lengths of the whole secant in its own individual triangle, that is going to be equal to u divided by s, which are the exterior segments in its own individual triangle. Now if we cross multiply, we're going to get r times s, and that's going to be equal to t times u, which is the result that we wanted to show. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.